Yeah, the question is, uh, in the case of our utility businesses, uh, all benefit of lower tax rates uh, goes to customers, and it should be, because we are allowed a return on equity uh, in general. I mean, I'm simplifying a little bit, but the we're allowed a return on equity that's computed on an after-tax basis, and the utility commissions uh, would – if taxes were raised, would presumably give us higher rates to compensate for that. And if taxes are lowered, they they would say you're not entitled to make more money just because tax rates on equity because tax rates have been lowered. So forget about the utility portion of the deferred taxes. Uh, the deferred taxes that are applicable to our unrealized gains in securities, we would get all the benefit of because I mentioned we had 90 billion plus of unrealized gains. And if the rates were changed on those, uh, in either direction, our owners, dollar for dollar, will participate in that, in that. And then you get into the other businesses. You mentioned the railroad, but it can be all of our other businesses. To some extent, if tax rates are lowered, uh, do different degrees in different industries, depending on the number of players, the, the competitive conditions, some of it may, some of it almost certainly gets competed away, and some of it would likely not be competed away. And that's that. You know, economists can argue about that a lot, but I've I've seen it in action in a lot of cases. You've had a big decline in in rates, for example, in the UK, and 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 we've had them over my lifetime. We had 52 percent corporate rates. You know, we've, we've had a, a lot of different numbers. So I've, I have seen how behavior, economic behavior works. And I would say that it's certain that some of any lower rate would be competed away. And it's, 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 it's virtually certain that some would, uh, would in order to the benefit of the uh, shareholders. And it, it's very industry and company specific in how that plays out. Charlie? But with dollar for dollar, I mean, there's 90, 90 or 95 billion. If the rate were to drop 10 percent, that that nine and a half billion is, is, is by 10 percentage points, that that nine and a half billion is real. On the other hand, if it goes up, as it did, went up from 28 to 35 percent, they can take it away from us, too. Well, I, I think it's true that we're peculiar in one way. If things go to hell in a handbasket and then get better later, we're likely to do better than most others. And we don't wish for that, and we don't want our country to have to suffer through it. And we fear what might happen if the country went through the ringer like that. But if that real adversity comes, we're likely to do better in the end. We're good at navigating through that kind of stuff. Yeah, and occasionally there will be a lot. In fact, we're quite good at it. There will be there will be occasional hiccups in the American economy. It doesn't have much to do with who's president or anything like that. They, they, those people may get blamed or given credit for different things. But it's just an it is the nature of market systems uh, to uh, occasionally go haywire in one direction or another. And it's been ever thus. You know, it'll be ever thus. Uh, it's not. It does not have a. There's not a. It's not a, on a regular sine wave type uh, uh, picture or anything of the sort, but it, it's certain to happen from time to time. And we will probably have a fair amount of money and credit at that time. And we certainly, we're not affected. When the rest of the world is fearful, we know America's going to come out fine. And we, we will not have a trouble, any trouble psychologically acting at all. And then the question is, how much do we have in the way of resources? We'll also never put the company in any kind of risk just because we, we see a lot of opportunities. We'll grab all the ones we can that we can handle and not lose a day of sleep. <laughs> I didn't quite get that. but I, uh, In any event, we will now go 